Hi guys and welcome to another video. So as I'm recording this, it has just been announced that Jack Ross has been sacked. Now, I'm not going to sit here and celebrate like, like an idiot just because I have put myself in the Jack Ross out camp in recent weeks because it's never nice for anyone to lose a job regardless of how badly or how well you know someone's doing in the job you know I'll um I'll never celebrate that it's never nice Jack Ross himself he seemed like a very nice man he um you know he, he spoke very well but it hasn't worked out and I'm glad that Stuart Donald has had the bottle to, to sack him because I had this feeling that regardless of what Jack Ross was doing, he was never going to sack him. And it's definitely the right time. He's got a good week or two, a good couple of weeks to, to get a new man in. It is uh, reported that Jack Fowler will be taking charge of the Grimsby game tonight. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. But it's definitely the right decision. Um, you know, the way we were playing and the aims in which we had for this season, we were never going to get there. We were never going to get there with Jack Ross at the helm, I'm confident of, of saying. I could be wrong, you never know, but... I, I couldn't see it happening. Um, what he was trying to get through to players, it clearly wasn't coming out on the pitch. You know, what we've had probably since he's came, a handful, a small handful of performances where I thought, yeah, this is the Sunderland we know and love. This is the Sunderland we, we want to see play. Because other than that, we've been scraping wins last season. We, we didn't play particularly well for the majority, but we did scrape results. And of course, it isn't all about playing pretty looking football. Of course, it's not. But, you know, the amount of draws and his record is for us is actually really good in terms of percentages of games that, you know, he hasn't lost. It's only, I think it's only like 12 or 13%, if that, um, or it could even be less than that, um, you know, in terms of how many games he's actually lost. But the amount he's drawn, it, it's just, it is unacceptable for a club, um, you know, without sounding, you know, too arrogant. Because, of course, I don't think we do have a God-given right to win this league or beat anyone in this league and what have you. But, but a club like us, we should be doing a hell of a lot better, a hell of a lot better, and we should be challenging for top two. We should be. Um, but like I say, I'm not trying to sound arrogant or what have you, but this club should be doing that. Um, the team we've got, I'm not going to say that the best team in the league. I don't think we do have the best team in the league. I think we have a relatively decent League One squad with a, two or three players in there with you know a sort of sprinkling of extra quality with the likes of Aidan McGeady when he is on form anyway. But with the players we do have, Jack Ross should be getting, or should have got, a hell of a lot more out of these players. But like I say, I wish him all the best. I really, really do. We did have some very good memories last season, regardless of how it ended. He did give us some good memories, different games and what have you. And for a while, he did bring quite a bit of joy back to the club. But the way this season has started, he's made it very, very difficult for himself. We can't just blame Ross, we can blame the players as well. But Jack Ross clearly isn't the man to get these players playing the way we want them to play and, and, and to take this team forward. He clearly isn't the man for that. So I'll read the statement that has come from Sunderland. So the Sunderland website reads like this. Sunderland AFC announced this afternoon that it has terminated the contract of manager Jack Ross. SAFC chairman Stuart Donald said, This is a decision that has been made with a very heavy heart. When we arrived at the club 18 months ago, we appointed Jack because we felt that he was the right man to take Sunderland forward over a number of years. Jack has worked extremely hard and has helped us achieve stability at the club and I sincerely thank him for his efforts. I hope and believe that he will go on to have a successful career in management. And then it obviously goes on to say that assistant manager James Fowler has been placed in temporary charge of first team affairs and will oversee this evening's game against Grimsby in the leasing.com trophy. It says the process to appoint a new Sundle manager will commence tomorrow. So, of course... There's going to be a lot of rumours as to who's going to take charge. Um, Barnsley have just sacked their manager today, which is a massive coincidence as well, um, which I think I think is a bit harsh on their manager. Daniel Stendhal did an absolutely excellent job for them last season, getting them promoted. And um, I think this season, you know, they didn't really back him uh, too well in the championship. They sold a good three or four of their key players and they find themselves currently in the relegation zone in the, in the, in the championship. But, you know, I th so I think he's been really hard done by, to be honest with you. And I think he is a, a good manager. So, um, so, yeah, maybe him, potentially. Chris Hutton has been spoke about. But we just need someone with a, a bit more, maybe, personality, a bit more oomph about them who can really get to these players and get them playing, get the passion back. Because we've had too many sort of pedestrian performances, I think. And, again, we don't really have a personality to our game at the minute. And it's gone very, very stale under Jack Ross. So, again, I will, of course... 
you know, thanks Jack Ross for your efforts, but it just hasn't been good enough. Do you know what I mean? It just unfortunately hasn't been good enough. There's also talk today, which I will just include briefly in this video. There's been talk from the Sun newspaper saying that the takeover is off and what have you, which, you know, I'm not buying it. I'm not saying that it's 100,000% going to happen. Do you know what I mean? Um, because it has been a little bit sort of rocky over the last week or two in terms of the takeover. But I wouldn't read too much into it because it's the sun and it's all kicking off over Twitter because people are listening to the sun. The sun chats shit and don't know anything. They literally have no sources and make up stories. Again, I'm not saying that it's 100% going to happen, but it, it isn't, you know, it's it's not off as of right now. And Stuart Donald has came out on Twitter and said um, his thoughts on that, basically just saying that, you know, he's not trying to haggle a price, just a couple of little bits that need to be uh, seen to that aren't 100% agreed on type thing. It's just general negotiations. But he has said recently that you know it's better than a 50-50 chance of it, it, it happening, essentially. Um, so yeah, so that is everything kind of rounded up. But again, I wish my you know wish the best to to Jack Ross, and hopefully whoever comes in can really get our season kick started because it has been shit from the start of this season. So hopefully we can get someone in who's going to get this team playing and get us back to the championship this time of asking this season in League One. But if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button for me. It would be massively, massively appreciated. And let me know in the comments down below what you think of second Jack Ross and also who you think should come in. But again, if you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.